Hello, this is Maxwell Jones and welcome to episode 12 of my Let's Play Regrow series. In this episode I will want to start automating stuff because yes, I have some iron and with the iron I will be able to make some hoppers which is the basics of automation. So I will do that definitely. I would like to continue going on with crossbreeding. I would like to get a couple of flowers I didn't get yet and um, yeah, it seems very interesting. Then I will want also to develop the back area because it's a little bit aside because I didn't have that many 10 10 10 seeds yet to put in there, but um, I have the feeling I could do a little better there. And let's get started. So, if the recipe didn't change, five iron ingot and a chest for a hopper, that's it. And let's place the hopper right on top of the seed analyzer, that's the way it works. Now, when I drop a seed in there, the seed is getting analyzed and I can get it in the chest directly. So I don't need to do anything else than drop my seed on top in the hopper and uh, they will get analyzed and come back in the chest. I think that's great. And here, what do we have? Daisy seeds, that's great. And white tulip, wonderful. I do have the blue orchid already and I think I have the daisies. Yes, I do. So let's plant the white tulip. And just here is a good spot. All right, one good thing done. Now let's focus on what is next. Let me quickly analyze as I'm here those um, blue orchids. Because I have the feeling I started with like a five something. And when I want to run and I can't run, it is usually because I have not enough food. So let me quickly grab this potato and eat. All right, now it's better. So here's blue orchid and the other seeds I got on the way. And yes, the blue orchid is 10, 10, 10. That's great. All right, everything else goes into the compost. And I will get rid of those things I don't need right now. Thank you, go away, you too. All right, that seems a little better. Now, let me split the screens. I will clear this 10 10 10 line on this blue orchid line and we'll be back. Okay, I've been cleaning this blue orchid line and now I just got allium seed which is exactly what I wished. So I will use this line which was before the blue orchid line to plant my allium seed. So, allium seed, here you are, plant it and I will bone meal it to accelerate the process a little. Now, it seems that this line is finished or it's reaching the end. So I will grab the first one, see if they are stacking. So they are stacking, basically they have the same level, four, five, six. They all have the same level, means I guess they are already 10, 10, 10 since a while and I didn't realize that. That's it, 12 seeds that are apparently 10, 10, 10. So let's quickly analyze it and see what it is. Apparently when you're crossbreeding seeds that are already 10, 10, 10, you don't get a 1, 1, 1 seed, but you get something much higher. Maybe 5, 5, 5, uh, I don't really know. And yes, cotton seed is 10, 10, 10, that's great. And I have like 12 of those, amazing. I will take a quick break to see what I want to do next. All right, I am back. And first of all, I want to take reward for my quest. So here's Allium, here is White Tulip, the one that you just got. And Orchid and Tulip will give me Orange Tulip Seed, so that's what I want next. Maybe I also want to get here the Pink Tulip, which is Dandelion and Allium Seed. That's also an easy one. And let me see, Red Tulip is Allium and Poppies, that's also fairly easy. So here's the orange tulip I just got. And now I have a problem. I don't have enough space to make a new line. I don't want to extend that much my area because it's already so big. Um, and uh, I may not use the whole area here. So let me think a little bit what I will want to do with it. 
So I definitely want to crossbreed further, that's for sure. Now, do I make a chest and drop all the new seeds in the chest until there is a free line and then I will be able to plant that seed on the free line? Uh, it seems quite a good idea, but it will also slow down the process quite a lot because there will be quite many seeds on the waiting list. And uh, remember, seeds are this thing that is making my pack move on. So I'm not really sure why not planting that right here, right behind this line. Yes, that's what I chose. So I chose to have a double line running at the moment, uh, which is not easy because I will definitely need to go there more often. And now this 4x4 area will be for uh, metal seeds. So I will have here copper, here I have already iron seeds, and next to it will be copper seeds. I thought it's a good way to make it to have like a real organization behind there. And maybe uh, it will be also easier to automate then. So here are my copper seeds, they are not ready yet. I've been analyzing them and they are not 10, 10, 10 yet, but they will come here on this area. I will try as much as possible to fill up this area offline because it's not that interesting to see how I'm replanting my 10 10 10 seeds in a new area, but definitely I will share my progress with you. All right, good thing done. Let me clear out a little bit my inventory. And let's see, next I would like to continue gathering new flowers. Let's see. Yeah, here's one missing. Now let's see. The so orange tulip is done. Here's the reward. And pink tulip is with allium and dandelion. And red tulip is allium and poppies. That's gonna be pretty easy. I'm gonna do that in the split screen. While here I'm sorting out my inventory. Checking the new seeds. And let's see. What do we have? 7, 10, 9, that's not good yet. 10, 8, 10. All right. So they will all go to trash. And I have 3 times 10, 10, 10 seeds, which I will need to plant somewhere at some point. So saving those 10, 10, 10 seeds in there. And I think I'm gonna plant all the flowers next to it. Here I have poppies and dandelion already. And I think I'm gonna continue this like three lines of flowers, which is pretty good looking. I don't think I will need that many flowers, that's why I'm not doing a bigger place. And then if, oh that's the wrong one, if then I need much more of it, uh, I'm gonna definitely move, move it to some other place. But for now, I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, the 10 10 10 going back in there and everything else is going to compost. I think it is slowly time for me to get animals here and yeah, let's see how we do that. So first of all, I would like a sheep. I will need wool, wheat, experience drops, which I have and an egg. And for a cow, I need some leather. Mm-hmm. Which I could do th with the alchemy catalyst. Which requires, okay, two blaze rods. So I will need to go to the nether for that, unless I get... Yeah, a sense of blaze, which I don't know how to get yet. The runes are okay, I will definitely need to go to the nether for that. And yeah, it may not be for right now. Let's see what else I can do. To hell and back. Okay, that's the nether quest, definitely. And the crucible furnace I could do. Which is giving me some lava, and I don't think it's that difficult to make the crucible furnace. Hmm, let's double check that. So, burnt brick. And this is coal, sand, and clay. So I do have all of that.
Okay, there's a quicker way to get clay with essence of water or essence of earth. Earth seeds are done with Rune of Earth and Pasture Seeds and Rune of Earth I think I just did it and I must have one left at least. That's alright, I think I do have everything to do it. So let's see, three of those. Two Pasture Seeds. Let's organize a little here. And maybe I stopped some essence seeds here. Yes, one of those. And yeah, the uh, rune of earth. So I think I do have everything. Let's try it. Oh yes, that is working. Great. So now we just need to wait until it's fully charged. This one's pretty slow. Okay, there are still there is still some mana in there. So hopefully it's gonna work till the end. Okay, have the living rock ready. Hmm, tossing is really not my favorite thing. I'm not really good at. Okay, I think there is no more mana in the pool. So either we wait for the flowers to, for the day blooms to give a little more mana. Alright guys, I'm back and I've been waiting a little bit and now I have my earth seeds. Picking up regular essence as usual. Which will definitely help me speeding up the process. And they are going to be fine here. So what else do I need after that? Water seeds would be great. Fire seeds as well. Let's check. The fire seeds, I need two lava buckets and a rune of fire. So I do not have a rune of fire. And this one requires me to go to the nether. Hmm. What about the water seeds? So water seeds is... Yeah, two buckets of water, rune of water, which is a vanilla fishing rod, sugar cane and bone meal. I can definitely do that fairly easily. So I'll be right back. All right, here we go. So the fishing rod um, is not done with sugar cane, but with sticks. All right, the fishing rod. And I think we have everything we need. All right, the fishing rod, the essence, sugar cane, bone meal. Aha. I'm missing something. I am missing this mana steel. Which is, if you remember, a tossing iron in the mana pool. I am not using all my iron right now and I will not melt it all because I will have fairly quickly a foundry which is R doubling. It's definitely something I would like to have fairly quickly. So one, two, and I need a third one. Here we go. So let's do that. I also think I'm uh, messing up a little bit and I'm confused and missing up both recipes. So I think I'm mixing them both together and that's not correct. Let me grab all that. Prepare my mana steel. Okay, I don't have enough mana. I'll be right back, guys. All right, I'm back and this is how it goes. For the rune, I need the fishing rod, the sugar cane and the bone meal. All 
right. Yeah, I've been a little confused with both recipes. So now living rock on that. As everything is so slow, I I want another spreader. Here we go. That's the spreader. And with the second spreader, I will link half of the flowers to the second spreader, so it will be a little faster. Definitely it will not overload and I will not lose any mana. And linking to the mana pool, like, like this. And then linking those flowers to that one spreader. And hoping this will be more efficient. And this one goes to that one, this one here, and that one. So that should be it. I've been gathering some coal essence. With the coal essence I'm doing some coal and with the coal I will do a coal block. Alright, 24 coal will give me 2 coal blocks and 6 coal. The coal block is supposed to give me like 9 times more mana than the coal itself. I'm not so sure if it will last 9 times longer or if it's faster to process. Definitely I will get 9 times more mana in my pool. Okay, the spreaders are not overloaded anymore, so I am definitely will not lose any mana. And that's it. Here we go. So that's the rune. And with the rune of water, bone mill, clay bucket of water, and the regular essence, not to forget the seed. I really want to have more coal in the future, but it seems that it's a good start and I really want to accelerate the process on that. Now for the water seed. It is charging at the moment. Just giving me some time to clear up my inventory. And after a short waiting time, here is my water seeds, finally. Alright, let's claim the reward for that one. I will claim the essence again, like usual. And I will plant the water seed just here. That's great. So, earth seed, water seed. Soon we'll be able to make clay without the clay cornea, which is definitely something good and will save me some time. Now, let's see what I can do in the quest book. I'm quite interested in doing something else. I think I will need some lava. I would like to have the crucible furnace and um, yeah, so I need something to store lava. I need a bucket and not a clay bucket, but a real iron bucket. With the clay bucket, you are not able to carry lava more than one time. The bucket will disappear after the first time you carry it. So I want a real iron bucket. And for the tank, the Miracle to a tank uh, is great. You, when you break it, it's uh, retaining its inventory, means that you will be able to move the tank and uh, move the lava, basically, which is staying in the tank. So I think that's what I will go for. And for this, I will need glass and copper. So now copper is cooking. I have some glass already. But it's already time to wrap up, so uh, this will be for next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please rate, subscribe and share it with your friends. And this is Maxwell Jones signing off. Have a great day.